Hey YouTube subscribers. It just occurred to me today that uh, I should probably start putting up some educational videos on what I've done with my Subaru over the years. I pretty much built it out to where I just do maintenance on it and little projects here and there. And I was watching some other YouTube channels today about uh, building a tiny home and shipping container homes and whatnot, which is something I'm going to be doing, but in the meantime, um, I really appreciated the fact that that information was out there and available on YouTube. So I'm going to start kind of a, a how-to or an educational video on the things that I've done to it, and maybe it'll help some of you guys out. Um, tell your friends, subscribe, uh, click like, all that good stuff. And in your comments, tell me what you want to see next. I can, I can show you kind of what I did on everything. Um, but I just need a little a little guidance and uh, the most requests will be what I do next for the next video. So let's get started. So since lately I've had a lot of requests on what I did to build my front bumper, I'm going to kind of go over that and uh, hopefully it'll give you guys some ideas on how to go about building your own bumper. If you don't know how to weld, uh, the best thing I can suggest to you is to go on Craigslist and find a used welder. You don't need a 220 to do bumpers, but it does help. Um, and teach yourself how to weld. You know, that skill will pay you back over time. And for the cost of a welder and teaching yourself how to weld and the supplies and whatnot, um, you could buy a nice bumper that's already built, or you could teach yourself how to weld and do it yourself, and then next time you want to build something, you have that skill. So that's something I highly recommend to all of you. So I built this bumper um, quite a while back initially. So I've been through about 10 prototypes. Maybe the first five were um, aluminum. And this one is actually 304 stainless. So people say that stainless doesn't rust. Well, it, it does on the surface. It, uh, it flash rusts, but it never goes past that. So you will see like flash rust on it from uh, de-icing chemicals and whatnot. Um, the Baja, or Yeti as I like to refer her to her as, is pretty dirty. We went uh, up to Yakima, Washington yesterday and we drove about, I don't know, 600 miles total. So, anyways, excuse the dirt, but I'll kind of go over this. Um, what I used is inch and a quarter stainless steel. It's 304 stainless and I believe it's a combination of Schedule 40 and Schedule 10 from what I remember when I built this initially, that's what I used. And I got all of my um, stainless pipe off of, uh, I believe it was onlinemetals.com, if I'm correct. Uh, Tyson Krupp, I think, is the main distributor for them. But anyhow, um, if you look at most Subarus, they have this attachment point for the factory bumper. I basically put a plate there, and I believe it's a 316 plate. And that was the start of it. And then I used, uh, let me show you here what I used for my pipe bending. This is what I use. It's cheap and it's effective. And if it breaks, it's not a big deal. You can always buy another one. But that right there, it's just a Harbor Freight hydraulic bender. And I think if you use a coupon, it's like less than 80 bucks. So that's basically what I use. But anyhow, going back to this. That's the start. So you basically, what you want to do is you weld your plate on there, or you bolt your plate on there, and then you, you bend a, a hoop. That'll be your start. So you bend a hoop that goes all the way around to the other side, and now off of that you can build everything else. Now the one thing I want to caution you guys about is if you put a winch on your, on your um, bumper like I have, that's a lot of force being placed on those eight little bolts. So what I recommend is you tie it into the frame underneath the vehicle and everybody always asks me well where did you tie it well depending on what vehicle you have you can tie it in wherever it seems appropriate now for me I have an STI um, I guess you would call it the motor mount or the um, cradle for the motor uh, and so I basically used where the STI subframe bolts in uh, normally on an STI chassis I used that for one uh, section and I did that on both sides and then the center section 
Ah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if I can get a better view here. So the center section, I, I shot a center tube out. That's uh, terrible, you guys can't see it. But anyways, that, there's two bolts uh, that go through there that normally, um, there's a plastic splash shield in there. And so that's where I bolted it to. It's just another plate I drilled holes in and then I welded uh, a cross beam on there. And that goes up. And there's three of them here. And this isn't pretty. I didn't try to make it pretty. I tried to make it rough because it's for off-road. It's not TIG welded. It's all it's all MIG. It's all wire feed stainless. So I used about two or three passes on each weld that I did. So I know it's strong. I mean, we've pulled this thing out of ditches before with the winch. And it uh, it doesn't budge at all. So, and then you can just it you basically just freestyle it as you go. Uh, one thing it helps to have is uh, jack stands to hold the pieces in place until you get them tacked. And once you've tacked everything up and it looks pretty decent, then just go through and take you know take your time and weld everything up. <coughs> but. Everything I done is something that anybody can do. I mean, you just got to take the time to teach yourself. Don't get in this mindset where everything has to be an instant 15 minute bolt on. And you'll actually be pretty happy if you start building stuff on your own. I guess this is going to be the first video in uh, in a series of many. So uh, if you guys like this video, please leave some comments on the next thing you want to see. Uh, I can do different videos on maybe the rear bumper, uh, how to do skid plates, whatever the case may be, but just leave comments uh, and suggestions. Uh, I appreciate all of them and I appreciate you guys as subscribers. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.